Hi, welcome to valuationpodcast.com, a podcast and video series about all things related to business and valuation. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I provide divorce mediation and valuation services in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we have the privilege of discussing the NACVA 30 years and beyond with Brian Jones. Brian is a seasoned association executive and NACVA is located in Salt Lake City. He's the chief operations officer and executive vice president of the National Association of Certified Valuators and Analysts. He's also part of the Global Association of Certified Valuators and Analysts and Consultants Training Institute. I think in this time frame, the other thing you should, first of all, you should be gaining new skills. You should be honing your own skills. You know, like wh what else can we do right now? Right. <laughs> but um, I think another area is you need to get yourself out there. And I've always said this, you know, um, there are so many smart valuation people really around the country and they've just been used to kind of coming in and doing their job and now they're doing their job from home. Right. Um, but part of being part of an, an organization or an association, you know, and, and obviously going to, you know, in-person events, but even online is connecting with other practitioners and also kind of, um, giving your knowledge back so that you get more, maybe not more press, but you're putting yourself out there as an expert in your field and you're mm -hmm. putting yourself out there in some capacity. And I think that the NACVA has a lot of options and opportunities, not only for training to help your practice, right? But also opportunities for you to to put yourself out there. And right now it's very safe. You know, this right here, yeah. you're in your office. I'm in my office. We don't have to, you know, get close to each other. We don't <laughs> have to fly anywhere. You know, right. like you can take the opportunity to zoom or connect with other people, but also, you know, talk a little bit about the opportunities to write you know, if you're, if video isn't your thing, there are opportunities to write, to be published. There's opportunities to speak, to teach. Um, maybe you're more comfortable with teaching online than going somewhere and traveling and you know things, you know, like how can somebody become more engaged with the NACBA? Sure. Well, you're a perfect model for that, Melissa. Um, in that, the sky's the limit, really, to, to at least with the Indian ACBA, to the level of engagement that an individual wants to have, not only with our association, but with the profession at large. Mm -hmm. Parnell Black, uh, the CEO and co-founder of NACBA, in the early years recognized that running an association was bigger to serve its members than the few staff we had um, at headquarters. And we're mm -hmm. still a lean and mean staff at headquarters and to marshal the brain power of experts and even newbies in the profession mm -hmm. who bring knowledge and skill and perspective, even as a, a beginner, right? You come in like you did with the uh, savvy for media. You had business valuation experience and training, but you had this media savvy that you brought with you to your brand new start in the profession. And so the NACVA recognized that we would be greater served, our membership would be greater served by having the members help lead and pioneer um, than the folks at headquarters taking those lead roles. We established our uh, governance boards that run the association, our policies, our procedures, our credentialing requirements, you know, our recertification requirements, the standards, guidance on what kind of training was needed, this feedback came from members. And now this governance model um, is, is ingrained to allow our members to get involved, mm -hmm. to help their practice, to establish their credibility, but to help the profession lift from, from knowing what's needed. We, we certainly could survey that from the headquarters and do focus groups, which we do on occasion, but the members are bringing that intel to us and we make it actionable. So we have many boards, we have committees. So if you're not an author, you don't like writing and, or a presenter, you don't wanna talk in front of people, you know, you can be on a task force. 
help write questions, help review bodies of knowledge, help grade exams, um, mentor individuals. You know, there's there's other kinds of areas. Give us strategy on resources that are needed. This kind of data is needed. This kind of, you know, um, a report writing service is needed. You know, we, we do engage our members to bring that kind of intel to us. And these are the things, particularly if you're getting started in the profession, it's like chicken egg, chicken egg. I got my credential, but I need some experience. I don't have experience, but I've got a credential. And I want people to engage me and believe that I'm a credible expert, right? Well, okay, you're working on both of those. You're getting more knowledge, you're getting those engagements, but imagine saying on your Vitae, I serve on a board for the NACVA right. or any other association. So I'm representing the NACVA, but I know our peer organizations, the American Institute of CPAs, the American Society of Appraisers, um, the Certified Chartered Financial Analysts, you know, mm -hmm. all of these associations that serve this profession could be benefited by getting engaged and it lifts everyone up. And we appreciate the hundreds of members on an annual basis who help pull off miracles. We do great things, I say this, we do great things as an association because of our members. Um, and we have that personality distinct from the others because it is so member driven. Well, and I think that getting involved, mean, it, it does mean a lot of things. And I think you gotta find what, what kind of is your passion? You know, I, I've probably done a, a million, all, all the different options that are possible. <laughs> but I think that some of the interesting ones were like the question writing and writing the questions for tests or the the, mm -hmm. the test banks and things like that. But even reading them, I used to write like the questions for all the presentations. Mm -hmm. And the fascinating thing, because people would be like, why do you write the questions for the, you know, the presentations? And I was like, do you know what it forces me to do? <laughs> it forced me to watch a lot of presentations right. and, and to go mm -hmm. through a lot of, and it, of different types of areas, right? That maybe I didn't know as much, or maybe I did. But I think that those types of things to get involved, um, as well as sitting on the board, or even committees, you know, I was always, I, I think whenever I was trained, like almost 20 years ago, it was with Mel Abraham in oh, yeah. um, Las Vegas, it was fabulous. <laughs> um, and then after that, um, I, you know, tried to kind of get involved with various things, but I think the boards are very interesting of any organization, right? Because then you really get to know the people and you right. really get to know maybe even some industry leaders, which I think I'm always listening to anybody like, oh, what's your perspective? Oh, what do you think about this? Because in our profession, it's hyper analysis. All we're mm -hmm. doing is like hyper analyzing every <laughs> single thing. And right. so getting people's perspective, it's also allowed me to build almost a global network of mm -hmm. other valuation people that I can, at the drop of a hat, make a call and get some help or get an answer or things like yeah. that. And it's reciprocated. Like if they need something, you know, if NACFA sends somebody to call me, I answer and yeah. I respond because I remember being there and being like, I don't know how to deal with this personal goodwill. <laughs> which, which one's which? Is it individual goodwill? Is it company goodwill? Like, I don't, I don't know, right. you know? And so it answers some of those. It makes you better. And then you can kind of flip around and give back.